what's up everybody it is kellen here from cellular systems and welcome to a mx versus atv supercross encore video we're going to do career mode and i think i'm going to turn this into a series where i do the entire career mode in this game but i just got it today actually and i wanted to show it off because i've been playing it a little bit let's put this on start on pro and we're just going to go right into it doing 250 west and so I figure I'll probably turn this into a series. Just got it today, like I said. So we're going to play it uh, until I'm not wanting to play anymore tonight, I guess. So far, first impressions of this game are I like it better than Alive. I like it better than the original Supercross. But I think it's still a little too soon to make complete assumptions about it yet. Um, it's clear that you're going to need bike upgrades, but... I mean, I don't know, I guess, how important that's going to be. But I like the gameplay of it so far. It feels a little bit more like it flows better. Did a race on this track on Rookie. Obviously, I'm probably not fast enough yet to deal with Pro, or maybe I am. Let's see if I can triple that. There we go. Oh, and almost quadded that. So, Supercross Encore has all of the same stuff that oh, MX versus ATV Supercross had and all the stuff that MX versus ATV Alive had that was not downloadable content. So it doesn't, the game itself doesn't come with, um, uh, what are they called? Like real, real bikes? What are, well, I can't think of the name for that right now. But uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have Kawasaki, KTM, and all that stuff. That's stuff that you could have downloaded on a live, and I think on Supercross. I'm playing on the PC just as an FYI too. Um, I did not want to get it for console, just because um, I figured I'd play it more on PC. But uh, doesn't come with the bikes, which I still can't seem to remember the name of those. Uh, it doesn't come with the James Stewart compound. Although, I think all of these things you can download for it, so I'll have to read up on that. I'm not going to be able to triple this. Oh, it. But anyway, I think all that stuff you can actually download, so it's not that you can't get it. Um, it's just that I didn't want to spend extra money to purchase those items yet, I guess. I do like so far in playing this game that it seems like the preload feature isn't as intense as it was in Alive and in NBA Supercross. Like, the preload feature was, like, it was, like, boost. It was unrealistic jump propulsion. It was everything that was stupid about the game. And it seems like they, they've done away with the reflex system as well, which is... You know, you fall up, or you're about to fall off the bike, and then you hit the the reflex stick to save yourself. Um, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't. I didn't really like have an indifferent opinion on that, but uh, it's just a f noted feature that I've seen because I've almost fallen off the bike a couple times, and it hasn't given me that reflex option. It does appear that the clutch is pretty important, and the scrubs also kind of help. Like I said, I've only played this game like maybe 15 minutes. I spent all fucking day trying to get it to work on Steam because for some reason I was missing a file or something and Steam just would not work with me about it at all. But finally I got it to work and I know this video is going to come out late as dicks, but I figured I should do it. And I uh, figured make a little cheeky new series out of it. Get through the entirety of the game so you guys can kind of see it. And look at that. Pro wasn't as tough as I thought. I actually won. Alright, so I did the customizable option of the bike already before I started this video just because I figured that would uh, take too long to get done. You can see I'm unlocking achievements because I'm on Steam, MSR gear sets, and all of those upgrades. But we're just going to keep going into the next round. So like I said, I'm... I'm at least enjoying the game so far. I mean, I know 
it's not received the best reviews and all that, but I do think that so far it is better than the other recent titles that Rainbow and Nordic have come with. I still wish they were doing Reflex, but you know you can only hope for so much. I totally jumped the gate there, um, but I you know I wish that we had basically Reflex version two. I think a lot of people still wish that, but they're obviously not going to listen to that response on that. And uh, the fact that I'm even talking good about the game shows how much better I think the game is. Because you ask a lot of people, and I didn't think that this game was that good at all. <laughs> um, not not Encore, but the uh, the recent MVA stuff. Um, I'm sure the people at Rainbow and Nordic are, are trying very hard, and I'm sure they're all pretty nice people and stuff, but uh, the product that they've been producing recently was really not that awesome. And so this new stuff is definitely a step in the right direction in my opinion but still you know they could be doing could be doing better of course it's all the same tracks from MVA Supercross as well so um, not going to see much new content I guess other than the the gear and the bikes I guess because those are they've uh, added updated gear and uh, they also have like a new bike model for the rainbow bike and the Nordic bike which are the stock bikes that come with the game which uh, is kind of interesting I guess I am preloading a lot still so I guess the preload feature still is kind of a big deal it's not the line I like taking here at all I'm also using the clutch a lot you can see the clutch is the like yellow button that appears above the speedometer the little yellow flick which i'm pressing now 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 and uh i feel like it's helping i don't know if it actually is but i feel like it is so take that for what it's worth oh forgot that section is not a triple this is a triple try to stay scrubbed also, a lot of people always like the whips, and uh, I feel that the whips in this game really aren't uh, too bad. Definitely, like I said, feels so much better than Alive, which I didn't like at all. Feels fair amount better than NBA Supercross before this. I don't know. I think in general it's a step in the right direction, but we'll see. Let's see if they make updates to it, or I keep taking this stupid line, which I just absolutely hate. Come on. It's really hard to corner in this game. It feels like he doesn't really stick the leg out to help you. Yeah, get it. Yeah, buddy. I also just noticed uh, on the career mode, it looks like they're making you do a quad or like quad series, which I don't like. I play this game for the motocross aspect of it, as do I'm sure a lot of people. So, like I, you know, there's it's cool. There's quad guys and all, but don't force us to do it if we don't want to. So checkered flag, two races down, 250 west, I guess this is. Oh, you can keep riding after all this garbage is going on. All right, we beat somebody in fly gear that I can't see and Tara Geiger. MSR helmets, Thor boots, Daniel Blair. Ba-dum. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. All right, we'll continue on. So I don't know what you guys think about a series like this, but I'm kind of wanting to do like career mode walkthroughs maybe call it like story time or something like that as a series but we'll come to a conclusion on what we'll call it eventually burp, 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 burp. all shot oh nope didn't get it again i don't think in real life i've ever seen jump so high off of a starting gate in my life but you know video games bro Nope, didn't get it. Trying to triple in the middle of that rhythm section, and I made a dog's dinner of it. 
and not getting that triple. Can I get the off? Got it. Pop up. Jump off and triple up. Nope, double in the corner. Land on Nico Izzy's shoulder. He won't be needing it. He doesn't race anymore. Oh, geez. Boost from heaven with that clutch. And then just absolutely nothing on the landing. That's my biggest pet peeve with their physics in this game is momentum just like it it isn't it isn't an option you can't like land things smooth and keep going fast i guess if that makes sense like you have to pretty much just hope that whatever you land with wherever you land gives you the speed to clear the next jump and if it doesn't then you're pretty much fucked See, like, right now, just messing around, fucking around, not doing anything right. Alright, let's see. Triple in. Triple again. And triple out. Nope. Triple in. Up. Oh, should have just tripled. So step on. Don't step off, that's definitely not the fast line. Definitely feels a lot easier to control the bike in the air though, I will say that. That's not the fast line! Getting a little too close to, for comfort to the wall there in the hoopties. Alright, let's double. Step on, step off, and get the drive to clear the finish. I'm making no ground on the guys in front of me right now. It's kind of frustrating. Hey, I got the triple, triple, triple. So let's not triple in here. Oh, just jump right over Nico Izzy. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh, Jesus! I love the lines that people take in this game too. It's pretty uh, awesome that they just like don't apex the corners. Man, where's all this speed coming from suddenly? I'm passing everybody. Oh. I'm gonna get second. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for it. Oh, I might win. What the hell? What the hell happened to the leader? Oh, I got second. Chris Johnson out of nowhere. freaking guy winning the race and stuff all right answer goggles graphics kit suspension handlebars blue number plate so we've already been able to make lots of updates to the bikes man this 250 west series just keeps going and going and going So now we're at Oakland. Just a waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Start next to Michael Lieb. Getting a terrible start. I don't remember this track at all. Oakland. Must not have played it very much. Whoa, those whoops are tiny. Flying through them. Oh! 
nose heavy over the berm, just Davalos it. Whoa, this rhythm section is insane. Can I triple into the corner? Not if Sarah Whitmore is just sitting in the middle of the track going two miles an hour. That's unrealistic. Land on a rider, nothing happens. What happened in the games where like you would touch someone in the head and they'd fall off the bike? That seems more realistic than just bouncing off of them. So I got up to second after one lap. Going for the kind of oppo whip there, I guess. Jesse Nelson leading the race. Oh, he's got number 13 on too, that's interesting. They're already using next year's numbers for this game. I did not know that. Whoa. Can't seem to clear that triple. Keep coming up short on it, entering the corner. Oh, not getting the quad. Oh, geez. Still made the pass for the lead somehow. Let's take this line since I muffed up the other line the first lap. Oh, quad. Nope. Just land and preload immediately. Starting to get the flow a little bit. Whoa, and then I landed on my nose. All right, one lap to go. All right. Whoop, forgot that was a triple in. Jump off the track, just jump right back on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We got this. Tiny whoops on this track, it's very interesting. And landed fine, somehow still Davalos off the track. There we go, finally cleared that triple in the corner. So I want to cut down here, get on the gas, and triple this, and quad this? Nope. So we'll double out. Well, this is a much easier win. Last race was really tough. I'm thinking maybe I'll just do the 250 West series for this video. Don't know how many more races that is, it still hasn't told me. Just keeps going to the next round. One Industries gear, One Industries helmets, Fly Racing boots, Oakland. Finish. Loading, saving, helpful tips. And round five, Denver. Oh boy. The video just keeps going and going. Uh, yeah, now I remember this track. Going into turn one, I was thinking to myself, what does this first section look like? Jump 3,000 feet into the first section, then realized, oh yeah, that's not what I'm supposed to do there. Besides the physics, I'd say my least favorite part of this game is the actual like bumping into riders. It's very unrealistic. 
mean, you can you can plow people and you just kind of grind into each other, which I understand it's like an arcade game, but it sucks when you're playing with NPCs because they are just all over the track and then they like kill your momentum and they keep going just fine because you just like boot them forward. So I've had a pretty awful first lap, still in sixth though. Clear it. Oof. Uh, well, I wanted to take the low line, but never mind. Instead, I'll just make a right mess of this whole rhythm section. And get passed by a woman. No way. Goodness graciousness. It's just impossible to ride with these guys because they're just all over the track. Yeah, I'm not clearing that triple. Come on, stop hitting me. They're just knocking tough blocks into the track. They're just all over the track. No fun with the NPCs at all. Oh! Alright, I'm tripling in. Yup. Then I'll double this, double this, and triple out. Nope, but I made up a lot of time, moved to third. I like tripling this here, because you get a pretty good drive through this section. Then triple here. Get to the inside of Jesse Nelson. Block pass. Still can't get that triple though. Oh, the leader just went off the track. Still off the track. So I'll take the lead. Thank you very much. Do 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 and look at here, another win. Well done. Definitely didn't think I was going to win that race going to that last lap, but that last lap was cooler. All right. How many more rounds we got? Let's see. Mohawk helmet, a bunch of vehicle upgrades, and Denver. Finish. Finish. And next event, Dallas. So is there six or eight rounds? We're on round six now. Guess we'll find out. Dang it. So bad at time in the gate. Another track that I don't really remember much of. But, oh, how did I get that? Triple in. Up, oh, went for just a smooth triple over. Didn't have enough speed. Triple, triple, and whoop section. Nope, nope, that wasn't really me blitzing whoops at all. Oh, that was a cool scrub. Scrubs in this game look a lot better than they used to, that's for sure. Triple on. No. Nope. Came up that short on a triple in real life. Rest in peace, your wrists. Oh, 
All right, one lap in the books. Oh, that's a big finish line jump. Is this a triple? Oh, good call, Kellen. Good call. Well done. Always going, dude. Oh, it. This is a triple. And quad it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. Nap didn't triple in. Let's just try try that again. Triple here and triple there. There we go. Get a good drive into the whoops. That was much better, much better. Still haven't cleared that jump, although I do like to get a little scrub a dub on it. There we go. Still not going to have enough drive to clear the triple. Still scrubbed it and came a lot closer than the first time, so shows you how useless preloading is. Don't know if that line's fast or not, but I like it. Triple over and then quad out. Oh no, I've gone down and I cannot get up. All right, so this time we're gonna get the triple in. No, we're not, and I've gone down again. Really good camera angle right there. Top notch work. Yep. Just went nowhere after clutching. Unpredictability. It's a killer in this game. Also, a triple triple section is like as big as a supercross triple. Realism, bro. Okay. Alright, finally cleared that. Let's try to low line this now. Oh, apparently that's a triple. Clear it. Ah, oh, we're good. First lap all race, I've cleared that super cross triple. I'm getting a little out of hand here with the using the rear brake to try to do oppo whips. I need to calm down with that. All right, 15, 11 second, whatever, win in that one. Are we done with the 250 West champion yet? Probably not. MSR, Thor Gear, Dallas, continue. Nope, San Diego next. Just keep on a rolling. Keep rolling, 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 keep rolling, rolling. Rum, bum, 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 bum. Game does look pretty, must say that. But looks aren't everything, folks. Oh, almost got it. Still got a good start, but then the bike just dies halfway down the start straight. It is tight as can be in turn one. And the racers all go for the quad. Everybody clears it but Kellen. Oh, jeez. Oh, whoop section. I kind of remember this track, but I feel like the lighting on it is different. I remember it being darker. My boy TG is now playing Rocket League. I wonder if he's playing with Zach. He's just hanging out with those guys a minute ago. Oh! Nope. Close racing. 
Oh my goodness. This game is a workout on your hands. More so than Sim, I feel like I'm gripping the crap out of the controller right now. Yeah! Ah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Top five. Oh, maybe top four. Top four after one lap, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, going for the quad. Yep. Nope, didn't get it. Then I missed the triple, so we'll go for the low line triple. And the triple into the corner, got that. Now let's get a good run into the whoops. Jeez, it gets really bumpy here at the end of this section. Oh, forgot that's a quad too. Yeah, just made a, such a mess of this rhythm section. Oh, Jesus. Michael Lieb, please. Crash a little less hard, please. That was brutal. Oh, yeesh. He had some crazy kicks, some of these jumps. Oh, thought I had plenty of speed to clear that double. Turns out I didn't have near enough speed. Don't even know what line I'm going for here, so I'm going to stop and refocus it. Alright, up to second. One lap to go. Hometown San Diego race. Can I win it? Dun 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 bum bum bum. Ch -ch. Uh, I was hoping I could go for the triple-triple that time, and suddenly I just had a bunch of lag on that jump, too. Oh. This is the world's longest 250 West series to start a video game I've ever seen. I think if they worked on their career mode a little bit better, it uh, helped them in the long run. Oh, I should have gone for the quad. I checked up and went for the triple. Totally ruined my rhythm. Oh, yep. Down I go. Oh, Scorpion. Jeez. Now I'm seven seconds behind the leader, and I just got past. Nope, I didn't. Oh, they're trying to jump over me. And block pass. Oh, I just railed that corner and then got railed off the track. Get up. I don't know what the rider reset button is. You never told me. So the first time I will not finish first or second in a race in the series at my home track now. Looks like I picked a good difficulty measure, though. Oh, yep, yep, knew that was going to happen. Oh, last corner. Oh, got a beautiful drive. Oh, it's still close. I think I got him. Yeah, third place. Whew. All right, so I think I'm still leading the series by a lot. Johnson. Thor Helmet, San Diego. Yep. And hopefully this is the last race. Seattle. Brum, 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 brum. Uh, 
Ah, so close. Stupid stock bike just dies down the start straight away, and oh my goodness, that first corner was a mess. Somehow it came out in second. Alright, just stop in the second corner, why don't you? And this Sarah Whitmore chick is just blowing for it in this game. And I missed the step on. Man, these rhythm sections are so challenging because you can't carry your freaking momentum at all. No speed going into that triple for some reason. Just no drive in the whoops. All right. Still leading though. Got a good size lead too, so apparently I was able to make the rhythms work all right. Up. Oh. Oh, well, that wasn't the worst line. All right, lap one. Going flinging into the first corner here. And we got a triple. Bike just does not want to turn. Damn it. I was hoping to step on, step off, then quad over. Shows how well that worked. Stupid momentum. Oh, scrub for days. Wow, that was a really clean section. Alright, let's get a drive through the whoops here. Nope, nope. Still gonna clear it? Yeah. Barely, and then land flinging off the back of the bike. Come on, what kind of crap is that? Knock it off. Okay, stretched out that triple, clean double, little whipper tail over the finish. The white flag is waving. I have a 15 second lead, so much better this time around. Ooh, yo yo, took off all kinds of sideways on that jump. Can I get the triple on? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was nice. No speed for this. So we'll just double here and try to triple out. All right, worked. So I'm able to check up before the triple hit the clutch. Just rip it and still clear the triple. Sounds about right. Come on, stupid momentum. Lose so much time when you have a bad rhythm section. This game is really about f being fast in the rhythm sections. All right, one Seattle. Please tell me that's the last race at 250 West. We've been going forever. Fox boots. Hey, 250 West achievement unlocked. I won by over 20, uh, 26 points. Career 250 West accomplished. Well done, well done. All right, so that is the first part of the career mode. I want to customize my rider though, since I can show you guys this now, since I have a bunch of cool new stuff. Bunch of one industry, or one industries and O'Neill gear, Thor gear. Oh, I don't have the cool fly stuff yet. No, I like the fly stuff. I only have the women's fly gear. All right, we got MSR, O'Neill. 
one industries um i'm a moose scan fan so let's go ahead and take a look at the thor here oh that was the same set black green red white black got white black and black red about this one industry stuff mm, maybe maybe no not that this cali gear looks kind of cool hmm. such a fashionista just hit go ahead and go to the thor stuff i think hmm Nah, you know what? I'm gonna go up to the answer stuff. It'll have more gear that looks blue and white, I think. Or blue and yellow. Like this stuff, light blue, yellow. So we'll stick with that. Helmets, we've got MSR, Mohawk, Yibra, the Nordic stuff, O'Neill, One Industries Gamma. The other rainbow stuff and the Thor and the TLD. I think I'm gonna go with. Let's see what they got for the one gamma. Nah. What about the Thor helmet? Oh, lots of selections here. Hmm. Some pretty cool stuff too. Um, let's go with this ortho white here. Check out the boots. Gotta rip the fox instincts since I got those in real life. It's the closest to my real life boots there, so we'll run those. Uh, goggles. I think I'll stick with what I got. Whoops, didn't want to go back though. My bad, my bad, my bad. Whatever. We'll leave it as that. Customize the bike. Gonna stick with the rainbow. Wow, lots of uh, options. One industry's camo. Ooh, motorsport. Ooh, we can get the moto option bike eventually too. I like that motorsport stuff though. That's nice. Stick with the blue, and we'll keep the blue. Blue looks cool. Um, get some Renthals, twin walls, blue exhaust. Oh, huh, I already unlocked all the exhausts. Interesting. Go for the FMF carbon. Tires, Maxis, SX tire. Oh, stock wheels, come on, bro. Race tech suspension all day long, you, you, you. Get that factory chassis, oversized brakes. I'm the champ now, so I gotta run the red plates, bro. All right. That's a pretty good looking setup if you don't say so myself. So that'll do it for career uh, mode in MX Rosé TV Supercross Encore episode number one. We did 250 West today. I don't know what we'll do next, but tune in next week as we continue this series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. Please comment, subscribe, do all the usual business. And for Kellen here on Star Systems, we'll catch you guys later.